what one thing do you think we need to see? What one, what one takeaway would you like to leave us with in terms of LNG and, and Europe? I think it's to start with it's important to, uh, to recognize that there is not one solution, there is no silver bullet here. Uh, it's important to understand that in different parts of the world we would probably look at a little bit different solutions, but but um, but looking at the total picture, we still strongly believe that gas powered trucks will be a part of the long term solution in, in more or less all regions uh, in the world. And in order to be successful there, of course, we need our decision makers to make sure that we have, let's say, the long term playing field. But I would say, repeating what I said earlier, that my key message here is once again that we need to work together. We need to make sure that we cooperate. We need to make sure that we solve the chicken and egg problem here to get the energy there, get the infrastructure, get the trucks, and also, of course, uh, make sure that this is going to be a good long-term and profitable solution for everyone involved. Fantastic. Thanks very much there, Lars. And Stefano, we'll come to you what, with your closing thoughts. What, what one thing would you like us to take away or what one thing would you like to see happen in LNG from your point of view? I think if I could, uh, if I could choose one thing, it would be it would be the little tirade that I had earlier. Yeah, let's let's use let's use the 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 heavy logistics market as the anchor for future LNG projects. Let's not tie in LNG projects to long term take or pays with you know, mega utilities. Bring it down to a much more granular level. Make it a make it a transition fuel that's available to everyone in the world. And the minute that you do that, you're going to have a very, very significant impact very, very quickly. Yeah, you know, right now we're we're aiming for zero emissions through EVs, but yeah, you know, that's that's like trying to run when you know you haven't even learned to walk yet. Um, and the fact of the matter is that copper is going to become very, very scarce, very, very quickly. So unless we miraculously manage to come up with a uh, with a substitute for copper, um, that dream is going to die exceedingly quickly. <laughs>